What is up guys, Bisectatron here with the next CWL Premiere video and today we're taking a look at the week 4 matchups and who is going to win, who is going to lose, and we'll also look at some awesome attacks in the background. So last week for the week 3 projections, I was not very strong in my predictions. I was only 9 for 16, I got 9 right and 7 wrong, which is barely batting above average. So um, in addition to my predictions this week, I'm going to let you guys say who you think is going to win. Uh, there's a link to a form in the description of this video. You can just go through each of the 16 matchups, select who you think is going to win, and I'll show the poll results in the recap video for this week. It will be interesting to see who the uh, the majority of viewers think is going to win and also um, if anyone gets all 16 of them right. So those are both things I will be on the lookout for and we'll go through those in the recap video. Uh, but for now let's take a look at my predictions for this week and starting off with the first matchup here which is Invictus Prime versus One Hive Genesis. Invictus Prime being 3-0, One Hive Genesis being 1-2. If we look at Invictus Prime, the division leader uh, for their league, or for their division rather, um, they started off, you know, so-so, had a percentage win. They tied in stars in week one, uh, but got the victory over percentage. They had 82 stars that week. But the last two weeks, they've been killing it, 86 stars and 85 stars, which are very solid performances. They're looking very hot right now, one of the best uh, clans in the... Uh, in the Gold Conference for sure, possibly in the overall Premier League. One Hive Genesis um, struggled with Town Hall 10s the last few weeks. I'm going to be in that war. I think we're going to do everything we can to get the victory, but i got to go with Invictus Prime uh, being objective. Next matchup is FYSB versus Forged from Steel. FYSB scoring 84 stars every week so far. That's been enough to get two of the three matchups won. Forged from Steel 3-0, scoring just a little bit higher than that each week. I'm going to go with FYSB with an upset here. I think their consistency is going to pay off, and I think they have pretty solid bases to, def to defend uh, Forged from Steel. I think they're going to get a tight victory in that one. This next war, not too hard to predict in my opinion. We are Spartans, definitely going to get the win here. Uh, Sons of Anarchy been very so-so, uh, and especially last week, a very low performance. I think we are Spartans, despite not scoring too high any one week, uh, barring week one. Uh, they've been doing enough to get the victory most weeks, and I think they're going to continue to go up to 3-1 and one, uh, this week. Fortas LTU versus Chosen Elite. Um, both pretty low scoring clans so far this season. Fortas in the 80s and 81s, Chosen Elites in the 82s, 83s, that kind of range. Uh, but I'm going to give it to Chosen Elite. They've been just performing a little bit better, and I think their record shows that. Um, so I think they're going to get the victory in week four. Rogue XI versus, or Rogue 11, sorry, that's the number, uh, versus Grumpy Old Men. I'm going to go with. The Rogue 11 here, they're coming off a nice win against Jay Off, which was previously one of the top clans in the league. I think Grumpy Old Men uh, took a tough loss last week to the Rejects, 84-80, and I think that they are going to slump a little bit uh, with a possibility of bouncing back, but not this week. Going to go with uh, Rogue 11. King Jeffrey versus Crystal Warrior, in my opinion, a no-brainer. King Jeffrey, I think, is going to get a blowout this week. Uh, they had two tough matchups early on against Jay Off and Grumpy Old Men in the first two weeks when both those clans were performing at a very high level. Last week, a decisive victory uh, with an 85 uh, star score. Crystal Warrior, on the other hand, has not been terrible. They've been okay each week, but I don't think they're going to do enough to, uh, to put up much of a fight here going with King Jeffrey. Hindustan versus Quantum 3, two 3 0 clans. If you look at Stars 4, Quantum 3 has two more Stars 4, but I think the important statistic is that star differential. Hindustan has a plus 11, Quantum 3 only a plus 6. I think Hindustan gets it done not only in their attacking, but also in their bases, forcing other opponents to score low against them. I'm going with Hindustan. I think they're going to continue the uh, undefeated record, whereas Quantum 3 is going to drop to 3 and 1. In the next war, we have Finland War versus uh, Pinoy Bandidos. I'm going with Bandidos. I think they are going to get the victory here just because they've gotten better every week. Started out with 81, then 84, then 86. Upward trajectory, whereas Finland War has been consistent but not putting up great wars. Got to give it to Pinoy Bandidos uh, for the victory this week. Art of War versus Terps Win Big. 
I'm going with Art of War. I think Turbs Win Big has been uh, very weak the first uh, three weeks. I don't think they're going to change that this week. Art of War um, coming off a huge victory against FYSB 85-84 to get their first victory and send FYSB to 2-1. They broke that undefeated record. I think that was a huge momentum shift for their season. They're on an upward trajectory for sure, and I think they're going to go up to 2-2 two two with Terps win big, falling to 0-4. Oh Dark Avengers versus LT. I'm going with an upset here for Dark Avengers. Um, LT has been consistent, getting about 82, 84-ish stars most weeks, which has been enough to get the job done. But we saw Dark Avengers explode in week two with an 87 star war. Keeping in mind 86 is all the Town Hall 9s and 10s 3 starred, all the 11s 2 starred. So 87, even one beyond that with an 11 triple. I'm going with the Avengers with the upset here. Uh, nothing against LT, but I think it's going to go to Dark Avengers this week. In this next matchup, I'm going for another upset. I think Three Point Park is going to pull off the victory. They actually have more stars for, despite the records here, than D Sabazitz. They have 250 stars for, whereas DS only has 244. They've just had some tough matchups, and DS has had some uh, close uh, victories and some relatively easy matchups. So I'm going with another upset right here, Three Point Park for the win. Dark Looters X versus Marshall's Nation. I think DLX is the hottest clan in the entire Premier League right now. 18 stars plus differential. That's a winning by an average of 6 stars each week. Marshall's Nation, on the other hand, has just been eking out wins week by week um, with a somewhat easy record, or somewhat easy uh, schedule, rather. But now they're facing DLX. I think uh, DL is a, a level above them, despite them both being 3-0. and I'm going with DLX for the win this week. Pigeonism versus Emphatic Fury. I'm going with Fury again. I called an upset for them last week and they lost, but I think this week they actually are going to get the slight upset over Pigeonism. They've been scoring a little bit better, 83 stars the last two weeks. Pigeonism has been a little bit lower than that. I think Emphatic Fury, despite the record, is going to get their first win this week over Pigeonism. Jay Off versus Quixotic Squad. Once again, another upset. A lot of upsets I'm calling this week, but I think the records don't quite reflect how good these clans are. Because Quixotic Squad, 86 stars last war against Quantum 3. Such a close war. You guys saw all of that in the recap. Whereas Jay Off, despite two hot weeks, was down to 81 stars, lost 81 84 to Rogue 11. I think Quixotic Squad's much hotter right now, and they're going to pull off the victory this week. CZX Knights versus WHF2, very close. They have the same record, same amount of stars for at 252 stars for uh, throughout the first three weeks. But the reason I'm going to go with CZX Knights is that star differential. Plus seven for them, only plus one for WHF2, meaning their bases are a little bit better, I think. Um, and I think they're, they're going to be able to get a very close victory. It's going to be close, uh, but I am going to go with the X Knights for the win over WHF2. And finally, Valor Doheris versus Dragon Rejects. Going with Dragon Rejects, they have the better record. Um, they were much better last week with 84-80 over what was a, previously a top clan, Grumpy Old Men. And I think if you look at Valor Doheris, 79-86 last war against Hindustan. Hindustan, of course, is a good clan, but still um, such a crushing uh, loss last week. I'm going to go with Dragon Rejects, who are coming off a of victory in week three. Um, and that's going to be it, guys. Hope you liked all the predictions. Once again, let me know what you think in the description, or not in the description, using the link in the description to fill out that form so I can see what the, uh, the viewers as a whole, um, who they think is going to win this week. I might even actually have a prize if anyone gets 16 correct, all 16 of the matchups predicted correctly. But remember, you have to fill out that form uh, within about 24 hours before the wars actually start. That way people can't cheat and fill them out after wars have started and you can see who's probably going to win. So be sure to get on to that. I'm looking forward to seeing who you guys think is going to win. Also, you can let me know what you think in the comments below. Good luck to all clans this week. I will be uh, in Genesis doing my best to get us the victory over the undefeated Invictus Prime. You guys will see all of that uh, kind of action on the channel over this weekend. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.